Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with non-parametric statistics, uh, we're going to concentrate on what's known as the Spearman Rank Order Correlation, uh, which I've done a video before, this is the exact same video. Okay? Uh, we did the naive approach, let's say, okay, where we, we didn't modify our correlation formulas to take into consideration any ties in the data. So what I want to just do in this video is to do, let's say, the more advanced approach, uh, where we deal with ties, and more specifically, and uh, not just that we deal with ties in relation to the rankings, but that we deal with ties in relation to the formulas that are used. Um, the formula in the last video that we used was uh, order of s, the Spearman rank correlation is equal to 1 minus 6 times, uh, the sum of the squared difference in the ranks all over n times n squared minus 1, where n is the sample size. Okay. Straightforward to run, no problems. Um, but I suppose if we were to do this, if we were to do this right, okay, uh, and really follow, uh, take really take into consideration the ranks, the formula changes drastically. Yeah, no, it's it's quite vicious looking. But don't have a heart attack because it just uses it just uses differences and and the sample size, and also takes into consideration, let's say takes into consideration a specific score uh, that we give to the actual ranked values and how many groups there are and the rankings within the groups okay so in this particular case here uh, actually what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to I'm also going to change a value back here to help help us with the, an understanding here of this so let's say so in this particular situation here the formula is going to change to or s okay or s is equal to n cubed minus n okay minus six times sigma d squared Okay, minus t of x plus t of y, okay, which needs to be divided by two. Okay, that's the numerator, and that's all divided by uh, n cubed minus n, okay, minus t of x plus t of y times n cubed minus n plus t of x times t of y, where these t of x's, t of y's are equal to, for each group of rankings, so for, uh, let's say i is equal to 1 to how many groups there is, uh, it's the number of, of values in the group cubed minus the number of values in the group. Okay, And similarly for y, t of y is equal to, for the number of groups that are, that are, that are let's say, there are ties in, uh, it's the number of values in the group minus cubed minus the number of values in the group okay looks very vicious looking but look it's only it's only division subtraction a uh, bit of cubing and addition and that's all there is in here so let's not get uh, overwhelmed by it but anyway what we want to do is let's get to the example here we have a survey variable uh, which is an ordinal variable and uh, we have a money spent variable which is i suppose it's an interval it's an interval ratio variable. It's a ratio variable in particular. Uh, and when we're dealing with, when we have an ordinal variable, uh, or two ordinal variables, or one ordinal variable and an interval ratio variable, the appropriate correlation to do is a Spearman rank correlation. So what we need to do is we need to take the first variable and we need to rank the values from the smallest value to the largest value. Okay. So let's say we were ranking our values. Okay. So we're going to rank our values. So from smallest to the largest. You see the smallest value here is 1.8. So we give that a rank of 1. Uh, we can see that uh, the next smallest value is the next smallest value is 2.4. Okay, and there's only one 2.4, so that gets a rank of two. Okay, the next smallest value is 2.5, but there's two 2.5, so let's give one of them a three, and the other a four. Okay, uh, the next smallest value after 2.5 is 3.4. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, it's 3.4, which gets a five. The next smallest value after 3.4 uh, is 3.6 which gets a six. Okay? The next smallest value is after that is, is the four, but there's one, there's two fours. Uh, so one gets a seven and the other gets an eight. Okay? Next smallest value is the five here, which gets a nine. The next, the largest value of the data set. Is, oh, sorry. The next smallest value is this 4.8, which is a nine and the five is actually a 10. Okay? The five is a 10 here. Okay? So we've ranked the values, but let's keep in mind that we do have, we do have uh, ties, here and there's another tie somewhere else which is the four here and the four here okay we have to take them ties into consideration the important thing is that we have two groups of ties okay we have this group here and we have this group here okay and within this group here there's two values 
and within this group here there's two values okay um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change this value here to be a four just so that you can actually see the help help with this formula here okay so let's now rank the money spent variable the smallest value in the data set uh, is the smallest value in the data set is this is this three here so that gets ranked one the next smallest value in the data set is a four but there's one two just three fours so this gets this gets a rank of uh, two three and this gets ranked four okay the next smallest value after four is five so this gets a rank actually the next one in our order is, is five the next smallest value in this particular data set is what comes after five and uh, well what comes after five is if I'm not mistaken it's ten so ten gets uh, ranked at position six after ten we have twelve that gets ranked at position seven and uh, after twelve we have if I'm not mistaken it's it's sixteen that gets ranked at position a position twelve 12 oh there's, sorry there's 15 up here gets ranked at position 8 uh, 16 gets ra ranked at position 9 and 24 gets